Hey everybody, it's Kyle. I'm hanging out on the Lower East Side on St. Mark's Place. I'm actually in front of the very building that Led Zeppelin used to photograph their album art for their release, Physical Graffiti. If there's time at the end of the video, I'll run across the street. You guys can see what this place looks like. Modern. Anyhow, uh, the ketogenic diet and what's going on internally with your body and why it's going to be better for certain applications and not others. Here's the thing. When you have restricted your caloric sources to minuscule amounts of protein and a lot of fat, you're slowing down your metabolism. So this is a lot like what happens with animals in the wilderness who are hibernating. So essentially, you're doping your body into wide awake hibernation where it's running with so much efficiency that you don't have to go so long with eating. Now, is this gonna be good for you if your objectives are gonna be bodybuilding or weightlifting or activities where uh, you need to recover from a workout and have your metabolism ramped up to a point where uh, yeah, you're going to be um, building more muscle. It's not good. It really isn't. And I should know because I went 16 weeks uh, without eating a single carbohydrate. And it really wasn't uh, the best thing for uh, some of my goals, but it had great advantages in other areas. So if you're going for bodybuilding, if you're going for weightlifting, Throw in some carb ups, and I really don't give a damn what some low carb jihadist, as Rob Wolf would say, uh, has to say on the fact because those people who are preaching against implementing carbs periodically, they aren't eating carbs periodically. And you gotta figure, like, even if they have a body that's close to what you want, well, how much work did they have to put in to get it? because a lot of the people who I see, some of them may be skinny or slim or maybe even lean, but what was their starting point? Genetically speaking, some people can just have a great low fat percentage, muscular tone. I saw a guy walking down this very street a couple days ago, flawless body. He could probably walk on stage tomorrow doing a, a male physique contest and win it. And I seriously doubt that he even owns a gym membership. So I'm just gonna walk across the street so you guys can see what this building looks like before I wrap up for you. And this is what it looks like today. So that's it, we're at St. Mark's. And um, like, comment the video, share it, and I'll be talking to you.